Audio is probably one of the key elements in movie making today. Here's something you can do. Try watching one of your favorite movies with the volume set on mute. You'll see exactly what I mean. Used effectively, sound can take your audience on an emotional roller coaster. And without sound, horror movies won't seem as scary as with the sound on. So Video Studio enables you to quickly add background music as well as a narrative to your production. In fact, there are two separate tracks for audio, one for the narration over here and one for music just below it, but they can be used interchangeably. Video Studio comes with some sample audio clips that you can use in your production, but you can add your own music by clicking the, the folder icon. Video Studio accepts all popular audio file formats as you can see here. Let's import a few music clips that I composed. Now let's go through some of the sound options. You can quickly preview any audio clip in the library by simply selecting the clip. Then you can press the play button in the preview window. Alternately, you can press the space bar. Pressing the space bar again to stop the music. Let's drag this audio clip to the timeline. You can drag the clip to either of the audio tracks as they can be used interchangeably. There are two ways to trim in an audio clip. You can drag the trim handles in the preview window like this, or you can use the yellow handlebars on the clip. To undo your changes, simply click the undo icon. To remove a portion of the audio clip, select the audio clip, place your cue point at the marking point and click the scissor tool. Then place the cue point on the mark out point and click the scissor tool again. Highlight the portion to be removed, right click and select delete. Alternately, you can press the delete key on your keyboard. OK, let's go ahead and clear the timeline and add the same audio clip back onto the audio track. There are two tabs in the Audio Options panel. The Music and Voice and the Auto Music tab. Let's go through some of the basic options in the Music and Voice tab. The Auto Music tab is an advanced feature that uses Smart Sound technology and we've covered Smart Sound in detail in another tutorial. If your music is too low, in the Music and Vo Voice tab, you can adjust the overall volume of the audio clip using this icon. Fading your audio in adds a smooth touch to the beginning of your videos. Video Studio provides a convenient way to fade in and fade out your audio clips. Click both the Fade In and Fade Out icons now. Let's preview our audio. This option allows you to change the playback speed of the audio. Let's increase the duration by a few seconds. Select the clip, place the cursor over the yellow handlebar at the end, press the shift key. Notice the cursor changes from black to white. This indicates you are in playback speed mode. Stretch the audio out a few seconds. Now let's preview the audio. Notice that the audio has simply slowed down without distortion. Normally, when you stretch an audio clip, the pitch gets distorted. But Video Studio is pretty smart and keeps the pitch intact. It simply slows down the speed of the audio. You can stretch an audio clip by 50 to 150% without distortion. However, any changes beyond these values will distort your audio. OK, let's go ahead and preview again. As you can hear, the music has slowed down without distortion. You can also import audio from your favorite music CDs by using this option.
Here's the CD of my son's favorite group called Simple Plan. After you select the CD-ROM drive on your computer, the track view displays all the tracks from the CD. You'll notice that the CD track titles are labeled Track 01, Track 02, etc. But you can change this to whatever you want. Let's change the first track, which is called Shut Up. Click Track 1, then click it again. Now change the title to Shut Up. Press Enter. You can also modify the artist, genre, and year using the same technique. You'll see various information such as the duration and status etc. for the tracks if the CD included them when the CD was created. Here you can check one or more of the files you want to rip. Ripping, by the way, refers to the process of copying the audio files to your hard drive, whether they are saved as WAV, MP3 or other file formats. Let's uncheck all other tracks except the first three tracks. You can specify where to save your ripped files by the Output Folder option. Click Browse. Select the C drive and create a new folder called Simple Plan. Click OK. The file type indicates what file format the ripped audio will be saved as. Video Studio only allows the WAV file format when importing the CDA audio from a music CD. For the quality setting, select CD quality. Next, the file naming is a really cool option. It will automatically number your ripped files in various naming schemes. Select the third option which is number and track title. The add to project after ripping checkbox will automatically place all the ripped audio files onto the audio track. Click on RIP. The status indicates the progress for each track as they are ripped. You can abort by clicking the Cancel button at any time. Once the ripping is done, click on Close. Since we had the Add to Project After Ripping option checked, all three audio tracks have been placed on the audio track. And here are the audio files in the Simple Plan folder on your hard drive. Notice the naming convention. Just a word of caution. Please remember not to use copyrighted material if you're going to distribute your videos. The audio view and audio filters are covered in another tutorial. Well, this brings us to the end of our presentation. In the next tutorial, we'll show you how to add narration and background music to your audio.